Poland may transfer several MiG-29s to Ukraine, this will expand the fleet of Ukrainian fighters. Poland may donate its remaining MiG-29 fighters to Ukraine, potentially returning the Ukrainian Air Force fleet to full strength. As Forbes writes, fighter jets are not the most pressing need of the Ukrainian Air Force. The Air Force most needs air defense capabilities to protect the existing fighters on the ground. Adding aircraft without adding air defense capabilities could result in the aircraft being disabled before they can even fly a single combat sortie, the publication writes. Polish Prime Minister Donald Tusk has said he would hand over the MiGs, of which there are about 15, if NATO allies deploy the jets to patrol the country's airspace. This is not a problem for the alliance. The publication noted that the Poles will send MiGs to the Ukrainians since the need for this is obvious. It is unclear how many MiGs the Ukrainians have left. At the start of the war, there were about 50, but as the publication noted, Ukraine lost at least 28 MiG-29s during the war, which was confirmed by analysts. In total, Poland and Slovakia provided 27 MiGs as replacements, but some of them were unsuitable for flight and were used only as spare parts. A dozen or more additional Polish MiG-29s would restore, if not expand, the Ukrainian Air Force's MiG fleet and buy time for the Air Force as new F-16s and Mirage 2000s trickle in over the coming year or so. The first few F-16s are due to arrive in Ukraine any day now, but there's some risk any fresh ex-Polish MiGs would never even get off the ground. Taking advantage of gaps in Ukrainian air defenses, the Russians have been flying more drones over Ukrainian airfields and striking the airfields with Iskander missiles. And that's why Ukraine needs extra air defense more than it needs extra fighters. Norway will allocate an additional 1 billion Norwegian krone or about $94 million to boost Ukraine's defense systems amid Russia, war of invasion. The brutal attacks we have seen over the past week show why it is so important for Ukrainians to have stronger protection against Russian air attacks. In cooperation with Germany, Norway will transfer a modern Iris T air defense battery to Ukraine this fall, Prime Minister Steer said. Iris-T is a short-range air defense missile system that includes three truck-mounted launcher trucks, a multifunctional radar for target detection and tracking, and a command post truck. It should be noted that in May, Oslo pledged to increase aid to Ukraine by about $630 million. Norway partners with Germany, the United States, and other allies to find anti-aircraft ammunition to better protect Ukraine's skies. NATO allies have been stepping up efforts to strengthen Ukrainian army amid intensified Russian attacks. U.S. State Secretary Antony Blinken announced on Wednesday that the transfer of the first batch of F-16 fighter jets was underway from NATO countries of Denmark and Netherlands. In a joint statement, the leaders of the U.S., the Netherlands and Denmark reiterated commitment to further enhance Ukraine's air defense capabilities.